today I'm going to talk about all of my favorite things as of late and that's going to span across a lot of different topics so I have a lot of skincare slash like makeup I guess that I would love to talk about and um, I would also love to talk about like stationery and also a BL movie that I would love to recommend to you guys. First I'm going to talk about some skincare and this is the Papaya Sorbet Enzyme Cleansing Balm from Glow Recipe and this is a product that I've been using um, for maybe almost a year. I'm almost out. I tried pretty much every like popular cleansing balm and I would say that this is the best one that I've ever tried. What I really love about this cleansing balm is that not only does it remove my makeup really effortlessly um, even when it comes down to waterproof mascara, um, I also love that it has enzymes in it so that it is also gently exfoliating your skin at the same time. I feel like this is a really amazing gentle product to use for my skin and I do feel like there is a pretty obvious difference in my skin in like the softness and the texture after I use this in the shower. The next product I have is also another skincare product and this is the Birch Milk Refining Toner from Then I Met You and um, I have purchased every single skincare product available from Then I Met You so I've tried every single product from them and this is by far my favorite product from their skincare line. I have also been using this for over a year. This is actually my second bottle and also the packaging is like so high quality. So one of my biggest skincare issues has always been finding like a product that adequately moisturizes my forehead without leading to clogged pores and breakouts. And this toner is so amazing because I can use it all throughout my face and there's not many products that I can use throughout my entire face. If you have combination skin, it works to balance your skin really well. So for my dry parts of my skin, I feel like it is very moisturized and for the oily parts of my skin, like on my forehead, um, I feel like because it is getting the right kind of moisture that isn't leading to clogged pores, my forehead ends up producing less oil and it's also like intensely clear. Like I feel like this really helped clear up my skin um, because it's just working to help balance and hydrate my skin. Next, let's talk about hair care. And this is a scalp relief treatment from Derma E. And as you can see, you know, I've used quite a lot already, like almost like half of the product. Recently, um, I had like the worst eczema breakout of my adult life, literally just like scaly, itching, redness, like patches everywhere wear like all over my body and even on my scalp and I've never experienced eczema on my scalp before and it was honestly horrendous. So I bought a bunch of products to try to calm it and this scalp relief treatment from Derma E is pretty cool. It does help with a very strong cooling sensation. So if you feel like your scalp is like really um, irritated and itchy and like you really want to scratch it and obviously you shouldn't scratch it, um, this scalp relief treatment I think is good for those cases. Your itching sensation is overcome by like the very cooling sensation. It's like super minty so you don't really have like you know the need to scratch anymore and it's also very affordable and it's effective and then another product that I have um I guess this could be considered hair care maybe uh, this is the fur oil from fur I have been using this for a year or so. This originally was marketed as um, like an ingrown hair treatment for you know the bikini area um, but I found that this works for any part of the body. If you do any sort of hair removal anywhere, even on your face, this oil is honestly like a miracle. Like it helps to calm your irritated hair follicles um, and it helps calm you know that like razor burn or um, even after you get like laser treatments you know like I've done like every type of hair removal and it's miserable like it's absolutely miserable but this oil really helped calm all of that irritation and um, it really does an amazing job at uh, helping to calm ingrown hairs honestly you only need like a day to two or three days to see the results so um, yes it's pretty expensive but it's lasted me a really long time it's actually really big for the amount of money that you're spending on it so I do think that it is a product that's worth its price point. So I have a bunch of these uh, lip cushions from M Cosmetics and I just I just love the packaging so much. I mean like look at how satisfying these 
colors are. They're so nicely done. So these lip cushions are basically like lip masks. They're so intensely hydrating and so soft on the lips, um, but they have a really gorgeous tint of color. So I have every single shade of the lip cushion, but I'm going to recommend two in particular. So my favorite lip cushion is in the color Angelie, and it just has the nicest pink tint to it. It looks really natural and really cute and really delicate. And I also love the finish on these uh, lip cushions because they're really soft and glossy, but not hyper glossy. Even when I'm wearing no makeup, I like to just like pop this on in the morning and I feel like it kind of instantly brightens up the complexion. And then the other one that I wanted to recommend to you guys is the lip cushion in clear quartz. So this is so far right now, like my holy grail item from M Cosmetics. Like if I had to pick one product, it would be this one. Um, I just restocked. This is my second one because I'm like going through this so quickly. I reapply this product like four times a day. Previously, I've been using balms and salves, which I have to like, you know, use my finger to scoop up or, you know, apply with my fingers. And I don't like doing that all the time because it doesn't feel sanitary to me, but this is as intensely hydrating as a lip salve, but in a tube. And I've never found that in other lip products before. So I really, really appreciate this. And the last lip care slash beauty product that I wanted to talk about is another item from Then I Met You. This is the Honeydew Lip Mask and I love this lip mask so much. It's probably the most beautiful lip gloss type thing that I've ever bought in my life. There are parts of this product that I don't like but really love and I feel like I love it enough for these reasons that I can recommend it as an amazing product. Um, so for one, I guess let's start with the bad thing, which is that I don't feel like it works as a treatment. It doesn't really penetrate the lips. I feel like, you know, if you're gonna call something a lip mask, you know, you wanna see the effects of this even hours after using the mask. But I feel like after it dries up or after you rub it off, you know, throughout the day, like it doesn't leave a considerable amount of moisture on your lips. Um, but what I do love this for is as a uh, like a topper for my lip products or a lip gloss. It's also very comfortable. Like it feels very thin and lightweight and I've never found another lip gloss that is so smooth and so hyper glossy. It is seriously like the most gorgeous lip product I've ever tried. So now with all of the beauty stuff out of the way, we can talk about other random stuff that I've been really enjoying and Stationary. Once in a while, I'll get like hyper focused on a particular thing and I'll just buy a lot of it. I really need to recommend you guys like a specific store that I bought so much stationery from and it's all like the best stationery that I've ever had in my collection. Um, so it's this cute little shop in New York called Nico Neko. What I really love about this store is that it has like a bunch of like smaller artists that are producing like their own letter sets and their own art for stationery. My friend Carla V. Cross, who's an amazing sapphic artist, you guys should all follow her. Um, she sent me a letter using this one with like the little houses and I, I was like touching it and I was like Carla V what what is this paper like I've never felt something like this before and so immediately I was obsessed it just makes me really happy you know like when I can send out all of these letters to my friends and it's like um, really special letter sets and it's like special stamps and special stickers like it just makes me really happy and then the next thing that I have to share with you guys are these really awesome skins for consoles um like, are you, are you kidding me? Like, oh my God. So these are skins from Sticky Bunny and I have it on my Switch and also my PS4 controller. Um, I do not have a PS4, I just have the controller because I use it to play Genshin. I love this kind of stuff. Like I just love getting my hands on anything and just making it really, really cute for no reason. Putting on skins for all of my consoles did take me like three hours. Also, it was really affordable. I think for all of these skins, I probably paid less than $40 and that was including shipping. I felt like it was really enjoyable. You know, you just kind of hyper focus and you don't blink for a couple hours and you know, the result is really, really cute. It's totally worth it. And this stupid bunny is I've never been prouder of something in my entire life. Um, this was just like a pop socket that I got from YesStyle and I just stuck it on there and you know, if I can get it off in the future, who knows? The only downside is that once you fuck up, you cannot fix it. <laughs> um, so unfortunately, I bought a clear case to you know put over my switch to protect the skin and 
it wasn't meant to be. <laughs> Unfortunately, the case did push up the sides of the skin, especially on the bottom of the controller, and it looks pretty bad. I did try to reheat and push down the vinyl to smooth it out, but once it gets fucked up, like you cannot fix it. Um, so uh, how practical is this and how long does it last? I really don't know because I've only had this on here for like, I don't know, a week. So that is the only thing. It's, uh, you know, just, you know, kind of, kind of be careful with it. Okay, so the last... Do I have? I have I have the book. Okay, so the last thing that I want to recommend to you guys is a BL movie and it's called Umibe no a stranger and I'm pretty damn sure that I'm saying it wrong. So the series is like pretty close to my heart. So this is a BL movie that was released last year and it was finally released on Blu-ray. The movie itself is the vibes are immaculate. It's Beautiful. It's honestly so gorgeous. The production and the budget is so high. It's almost like a Ghibli movie, honestly. And the music also is amazing, so I highly recommend it. It's such like a pleasant watch. I feel like I've gotten really attached to the series recently, you know, after rereading it because, you know, growing up queer and also being sapphic, no one ever told me that it was okay to like girls. I always thought that, you know, there's something wrong with me. But watching this movie and seeing that it's normal and, you know, just seeing two characters who are just healing through this love and healing through, you know, the trauma of being gay, that's why I feel like all together, like, it, it's a really special movie. Just please, just please watch it, it's so good. I even unearthed some of my old books. So I bought this, I don't know how many years ago. I have Umibe no A Stranger and I also have Harukazu no A Stranger. So in the series, the movie Umibe covers the prequel and then um, the sequel is like currently five volumes long and I only have volume one but you better believe that I'm going to make the most unhinged haul and by the rest of the series. I also just ordered the limited edition Blu-ray set of the movie and I'm really, really excited. I wish that I had it here right now so that I can, you know, show you guys because I'm sure that it's going to be so fucking pretty. You know, eventually I will make a video showing it off. So yes, thank you for allowing me to fangirl for a little bit at the end of this video. I hope if you watch the movie that you really enjoy it. It's honestly just so, so amazing. And yeah, uh, <laughs> thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you guys again next week.